So here we are on my front porch, and um, I've got a little pan, actually a cut up one gallon um, paint can made out of steel. And here I've got a lot of uh, broken brown wax cylinders that I bought from Rich Gordon at this past weighing show. Uh, some thermocouples, heat gun, torch, miscellaneous apparatus and I'm going to separate out the light colored brown wax. I'm going to try to cast it into a disc and then I'm going to do the same with the dark brown wax. So this process has had some problems. The bottom of the pan is too cool and the wax seems to be solidifying on it and those chunks on the bottom aren't really uh, melting. The heat gun doesn't have enough feet to use and the flame from the, uh, the torch occasionally sets the, uh, uh, the fumes and the gas that comes off it on fire. So. This was not a very well thought out plan. I also could have had something for stirring. Uh, so I'm going to shut this down in a minute. My grill out back is warming up and uh, I'm gonna put it on the grill and let it heat more gradually that way. Uh, I'll also then be able to install the thermocouple to be able to more accurately monitor the temperature and I'll have some kind of a stirring rod. Here you can see it congealing on the bottom when I stir it. Just to show you that um, even using the hot air gun and the um, torch just wasn't enough. So it might melt the top, but the wax on the bottom has re solidified. So um, the grill out back is just about ready to go. I've got my stir rod, which uh, is a titanium hip replacement. If any of you were considering them, reach out to me. Maybe I can cut you a deal on the surgery. Just kidding. And, um, yeah, so I'll see you out back in just a moment. I've had the grill going at about 400 degrees. And so far, as you can see, uh, it's melting pretty well. I added a lot of wax. Uh, minimal smoking, and it is slowly melting. It's only been about 10 minutes. So as I mentioned before, I had to level out the grill for this. As you can see, the temperature is around 360 Fahrenheit. Uh, and everything's looking good melting-wise, but as you can see, now we've got uh, some bubble formation on the top. So I'm going to have to figure out a, something to do with that next. So I'm back inside where we have a perfectly level surface. And apparently with one of these little lighter torches, how you get rid of the air bubbles on the surface. I remember in the Victor videos they would show people using some sort of a torch to um, break up the surface tension and get rid of the air bubbles. This will be a lot easier than shaving it. Okay, it's been about an hour or so and uh, as we can see the wax it's still hot to the touch, um, but um, it is solidified and a um, little bit of something or other precipitated or floated to the top. You can see little marks. Um, just gently moving around the edge with the shrinkage, because it does shrink a little bit, uh, just like coming out of the pool. So it's, um, uh, it has released from the side with uh, virtually no pressure and if we listen we can hear it just ever so gently jiggling. So I'm going to put it upside down here. And this is going to take a little bit of work. Now it took a few minutes. 
but uh, look at that beautiful chunk of wax. Probably took me five minutes to tap and massage the can to get it out. But on the back, we have beautiful detail of the can. Uh, I'm going to try to mill that off so I can use both sides. And uh, air free. The color is quite a bit darker than what I started with, but um, uh, still not as dark as many of those dark bits inside that jar I got from Rich. So I'm going to clean this up and uh, try to center a spindle hole in it and then um, we'll try to do a little recording. So I used a compass to try to line up some of these holes from the paint can or some of the grooves from the paint can and um, dial caliper did my best and uh, that little dot there is the spindle hole I should probably make that a little bit bigger oh now you can see it too okay Now I did that while it's still warm and quite slowly just to make sure that it wouldn't crack. Now I'm going to check the fit. Well actually I've got my wonderful little portable here. I can check to make sure that, yep, look at that, great fit. Leopard print optional. And over here, if we look at this guy, It's there too. Now we've got a little work between here and there, but this will be uh, a few steps away. Is that we'll be able to do some cutting? Yeah, so I'm going to have to readjust the height on the carriage, but. Um, We'll get to do uh, some recording on brown wax, just like back in the day. So this is a knife that I got a while back, and uh, I keep it razor sharp. Usually use it for slicing pizza, but um, look at that! Did a great job for shaving down this disc, and uh, man, that playing or cutting surface—it's uh, absolutely gorgeous. There are some striations from the blade, but uh, those will polish right off with either a uh, buffing rag or a little bit of solvent. Uh, the back does have some air bubbles. I'm a little surprised to see those air bubbles, but they're there. I may uh, try to wipe it down with solvent and see if they um, go away, but I think that I'll probably record on this surface and then um, reuse it by um, uh, simply shaving it down or wiping it down with additional solvent. Um, this is uh, six and a half inch or so, came out to be just under a pound of wax at an inch thick. I'm not sure how much I shaved off, but uh, it probably looks more than it is. It's probably only an ounce or two. Look, I can see myself. <laughs> so this is the last part of this video. Uh, as you can see, I... Um, uh, I did wipe this down with some 99% isopropanol and then buffed it out with um, a soft rag and it really came to uh, a really bright finish. Uh, I'm really pleased with, uh, with how well my first attempt came out. Uh, look at that. We can see the reflection of the room in it. Um, for the second attempt, uh, this is cooling now, uh, all I did was I literally piled the wax in uh, measured it out to, um, you know, about the same weight, 400 grams, and just threw it in uh, the grill, preheated to 400 degrees. It does seem to have darkened significantly. Uh, this color will lighten um, as it cures, but um, even when it was uh, cooking down, I could see the color darkening. So I think the uh, the lesson there is to pre-melt it to um, 
a pre-melt the top to minimize some sort of uh, an oxidation reaction perhaps. But uh, there we have it. Um, I think that concludes how to make a uh, small uh, wax disc and uh, coming up in the future we'll have uh, some results of how well it cuts and records.